lot of the jobs that we do these days are called fast track, which essentially means the design is nearly on top of the construction schedule. The McDonald Miller design team, fabrication, and install teams really work well together. We're building the plan with the engineer at the very beginning. Depicting something in 3D, that's simple. Depicting it in 3D that carries along costs, constructability, fabrication components, and probably the most difficult piece is that it's actually what we intend to build. We can solve those problems when it's much more inexpensive to fix. The guys in the field will have it so much easier. If we can focus on getting those guys into our fabrication shop, we can really control how we construct these projects. You're looking at the models that we're doing and, and comparing them right against what we've installed in the field and they are, they're identical down to the hangers are right where they were placed in the model. We're embedding the information into the equipment. If you hover over a diffuser, it'll tell you what the make, model, and size is. The craftsmen on the job site could come out, really do their job, and, and meet their productivity schedules because the product was right. The industry is moving towards Revit, and so now we have a conversion process that we need to convert all of this intellectual properties. I'm not sure a lot of folks out there are able to do that right now, but we've figured it out. We're always asking the questions, what can get in the way? When we actually get to taking everyone's 3D models and actually clashing them against one another, that's kind of an art in itself, and, it, and it's not everybody can do it. You've got to assign clashes to the person who's going to be the cheapest to move, which not a lot of people think of. Uh, they just think of, okay, what's, what's going to be the quickest and easiest way to resolve this clash? It may not be the most uh, cost-effective fix. We're actually designing to our budget and getting the best value for our dollar. It fit right into where Sal and Construction, the general contractor, was really pleased with how the schedule came together and how everybody worked together on it. Some of the people who have stuck with it are seeing that this is making a huge difference. Uh, it just came together beautifully. It's pretty unique when a company like McDonald Miller comes to the engineering group of a company and says, we'd like your input.